Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my next vlog. So we're starting off today on a slightly different note. I'm on the sofa because stupid me came running down those steps behind me and I missed, I think I missed two steps actually. And I basically sprained my ankle and my whole foot like folded inwards. I had a couple of cracks, but it's all good. It's just a sprain, I think. So it's very swollen. So I'm sat on the sofa with my foot elevated, but I find that actually... When I've got it elevated and then I start walking, it hurts even more. How does that make sense? I don't know. Hopefully it's on its way to recovering. It's gonna be like a couple of days, I think, if not maybe a couple of weeks. I was actually meant to be on my way to go and see my best friend today. We were meant to have a bit of a girly sleepover because we're going to Bista tomorrow. I don't know if Bista's still happening tomorrow. I mean, I'm gonna try my best. I have got like a compression sock thing around it. I'm hoping that will help it to heal better and faster, but it is super swollen. I'm not gonna be able to show you how swollen it is actually because I'm wearing the compression sock, but just believe me when I say that it won't fit into my trainers. <laughs> so I'm spending the day at home today. I have actually spent the last week in Scotland with my family, which was super, super nice. It was a couple of days away and we did a lot of walking, a lot of sightseeing, saw a couple of the locks as well, which is really nice. And now I'm home. I'm actually drinking tea from my only souvenir for myself from Scotland, the very basic bitch Starbucks mug, basically. It's so nice, but I just think it's like the perfect size to have a full cup of tea. So I've got my tea, I've got my biscuits next to me as well. I'm on the sofa and I'm gonna watch some YouTube for the rest of the day, I think. I thought I'd start this vlog anyway, because if anything changes, like if my foot miraculously heals overnight, then I might be heading up to see my friend tonight. <laughs> unlikely or I'm probably just gonna go to Bista tomorrow anyway and then I'll just have her on support for the rest of the walk throughout the village because I really really want to go I've already started Christmas shopping for my friends and family and yeah I just want to make sure that I pick up some like luxurious bits as their main presents I actually don't have that many people to buy for like I don't have that many friends I need to buy for but I've got three sisters so I'm gonna work my way through that and so yeah, if anything changes, that'll be great because I'm vlogging anyway. I also have a couple of things that have arrived today. I've actually got a Zara parcel that has just arrived this morning, which I wanted to try on and show you guys. However, I don't know how I'm going to do it if I can't get up those stairs without the help of Danny anyway. He's gone out to the shops to get some food. So I might have to wait till he gets back and then he can lug me upstairs. Once I'm standing, it's fine. When I go up the stairs, I just need to hold the banister, but it does take me a little while to get up there. And like for me to get up the stairs and also bring this box as well. I mean, I'm just asking for my other leg to be broken, aren't I? So I'm just going to wait till he gets back. Hopefully I can try it on and show you guys. If not, then I'll just hold on to it until I can actually get up the stairs up and down myself and it's not very inconvenient. But yeah, I'm hoping it's gonna be a couple of days. For today, it is Sunday, so I'm in my pajamas. This is those like piping sets, which I really love. This is from Pretty Little Thing, which I don't actually recommend, by the way. Like the fabric's really nice, but the buttons are really loose. So this pops open all the time. So I don't actually recommend these. I'm gonna spend the rest of the day chilling today, just on the sofa. And hopefully I'll just pick up and just vlog as and when. And if tomorrow I go to Bista, then that'll be even better. Hello guys, it's now the next day. So I did make it to Bista after many fights about me not driving and it was fine. Danny got me this ankle press compressed thing and I've been able to walk and drive fine. I mean, it. I do pay the price afterwards because the swelling is immense and I'm gonna get it seen, but I've just come home after a day of shopping in Bista and I've been craving this anchovy pasta. Pasta? pizza anchovy pizza in general and i've just come home to this and it is the most divine thing ever i'm gonna go ahead and eat this i'm gonna chat for the rest of the evening and then i'm gonna show you guys tomorrow what i got in Bissa because it was a very successful day actually compared to my first or well, my vlog from last time where i went to Bissa and i didn't actually get that much but this time i was shopping with everybody else in mind for christmas and it was quite successful guys my christmas tree has arrived well i'm hoping it's my christmas tree because i haven't got anything else expected in this box are you excited for christmas yeah i'm waiting for the christmas decorations to come through and then i can put this up or maybe i should just put this up anyway i'm planning on putting the christmas tree in this corner here as a surprise for danny because he's currently away but i don't think the decorations are going to come in time so i think i'm just going to put the tree up anyway and then just wait for the baubles to come but yeah are you excited for christmas no, you're only excited about your little squishy ball, which is completely deflated. Billy, hello. Thank you, she's licking my ankles. <laughs> I've just opened it up and here it is in all its glory. I mean, it's not really much at the moment, but it seems that they've packaged some of my baubles that I've ordered in here 
which is so great. It means that I can put it up tonight. I'm so excited. You don't even know. This is our first home where we're going to have our own Christmas tree and it's going to look so cool with all the updates that we've added to this living room. So I'm going to put this together now this evening while standing still away. I just love Christmas and this is the first time that I've bought like a, a really nice decent tree and have my own decorations and stuff. So I'm super excited. I'm currently about two thirds into building this tree. So there's already the bottom third and then the middle and then there's a top one that I still have yet to put on. I just wanted to show you guys, it's such a good quality tree. I've never had really had like a good quality tree. And I don't know if you guys can see, but they're metal hooks for each of the branches and then they come folded and then you just spread them out. And there's lights. I didn't realize I bought a tree with lights, which is so great. So I've weaved in all the lights again. I just need to do the rest of this section here and then put the top section on. And then I'm super excited to get the baubles on. But so far, so good. I finally put on the middle section of the tree and then obviously I've got the bottom section. I feel like I fanned them out so they look like palm trees. I don't really feel like this looks like a Christmas tree. I've still got the top to put on. The only thing that's taking me ages is weaving through the lights because it comes with the lights weaved in, but it's just like, it's weaved in so tight that you can't actually open up the leaves. And what I mean by the leaves opening whenever I stab these on is that when you put it on like this, this whole thing is meant to fall open and it's been doing it for all the other sections, but I guess this one it's not. I just need to untie all the lights and then put it back on here for hopefully not much longer. Two and a half hours later, the tree is finally done. It's not perfect. As you can see, it's currently leaning against a tin of sardines. You gotta do what you gotta do. It wasn't standing properly. I don't think the floor is completely flat. So it's struggling to stand up straight, but it is what it is when there's presents and stuff, you won't see that along the bottom. And I'm gonna cover it with more decorations anyway. I'm now gonna go ahead and put all of these baubles up. I'm gonna go for like a white gold and quite like an oaky kind of themed, if that makes any sense. I'm gonna have like wooden hanging ornaments and things like that there. So it'll be like white, cream, beige, wood, and all of that together with maybe like gold accents. But that's the theme we're going for this year. I'm just so in love with it. I'm gonna have to find out where to put this basket now because the basket used to sit there. Maybe I can put the basket there to cover the sardines. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put the baubles on now and then show you guys the final reveal of our Christmas tree. Look at the state of my floor. This is going to take me ages to clear up. It goes all the way down to over there because I was opening up the leaves and they just kept falling and falling. So that's going to be a fun cleanup job, isn't it? Okay, someone is playing with me. I was like, great, I'm going to put these baubles up. I have to tie all of these strings for all 50 of these baubles before I can actually hang them on the tree. I've got one on the tree and I'm just looking through this like, can I get this done tonight? She's finally finished. I put all the baubles on. That really did take me a long time. I started around half seven. It is now quarter past ten. So <laughs> it took me a very long time. I've got these really cute star baubles mixed in with like these, I guess like acorns maybe. There's some snowflakes, but some of them don't really kind of work because there's no hole for me to feed the string through. So I'm going to have to get a little pin first and fix that. But the whole tree is done in all her glory. It's so pretty. And honestly, Christmas trees make me so happy because it's just... You know, it's the best time of the year. So I've got all the lights on in the house, but I'm really sorry for the light because it's not looking great. But I wanted to show you guys an order that's come in. And it turns out I had the rest of my Christmas decorations coming in today for the tree. So I did actually order a star for the tree, which can I do it with one hand? This is the star for the tree. How nice is that? I need to find a way to actually make it stand up because it's quite heavy. So that's the star for the tree. And I also did order some more baubles and then the wooden decorations that I said that I was gonna have on the tree for that kind of more rustic theme for the tree. These are the other baubles I ordered for the tree. So we've got some gold, champagne -y kind of colors. I really love this kind of waffly pattern. Is that what we call it? Like a ripple pattern. This baubly one kind of does look like popcorn or honeycomb and it kind of freaks me out, but it looks cool. And then we've got this burgundy. It's showing up as like a darker purple on camera, but it's actually like a deep brownie burgundy kind of color. So I've got those and then I've got some lighter colors here as well. I've got champagne and pink, which I thought would be really fun to add that kind of extra bejazzle to the tree. And then we also have these wooden, Oh, I only had one. Whoops, my bad. I thought it was a couple. Maybe they didn't have that in stock anymore. But this is like, oh, this is meant to be one statement bauble. 
that I'm gonna hang on the tree. How cute is that? <laughs> this is so cute. I'm gonna add these onto the tree now. I forgot to mention how inexpensive are these baubles? There's six here and they were only $2.99. I'm pretty sure that the baubles I ordered for this tree, I think it was a 30 pack and I think it was like 10 pounds or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was like 15 pounds, but for 15 pounds for 30 baubles, that's really quite affordable, I would say. And then I remember this pack of baubles here being around the same price. Does it have it on here? Oh, it doesn't. I think this was also about maybe 10 pounds. So I think that's really good as well. And then the individual bauble, this wooden piece here, I think this is literally like 2 dollars which is so good because I'm on a budget and this tree is already costing me so much money, but so far it's been pretty good. This is the final product of the tree. I think that the baubles that I ordered really kind of add something different to the tree before it was like obviously just white and champagne now we have bits of the golden brownie bits on there which i really love although does it look like there's too many bigger baubles around the bottom here i know that there's like a way to dress the tree and i don't know that way so i'm just doing it how i think it sees fit at the moment and i really love it i think it looks so cozy in here and it looks super christmassy and i can't wait to keep this up for the next two months I feel like the light yesterday didn't do the tree justice. I'm just going to show you guys again because I am obsessed with her. She's so pretty. I really love the colours and it really works well with the rest of the living room. So yeah, I'm super, super happy with her. Good morning, guys. I've actually had a very dull week, so I've not vlogged very much. We are actually sat in the car park of Hu Hing, which is a Chinese superstore, which is something that I've grown up going to with my parents since, honestly, since I was so little, because we've always either worked for somebody in a restaurant business or my parents have run a restaurant slash like a takeaway. And so we've always been here to buy stock and just buy goodies because it's a lot cheaper because it's wholesale prices. So I'm here today because we are actually selling celebrating Bella's belated third birthday. She's three years old now. She turned three whilst I was in Scotland with my family and we weren't able to celebrate and we do celebrate every year. So I thought we'd do a belated celebration and today we're going to do steamboat, which was also typically known as hot pot. If you guys are Chinese, then you guys will know it's a very traditional way of eating, especially at this time of year when it's super, super cold. It's nice and cozy and it's just really kind of like a wholesome dinner to have or like a lunch, which is what we're going to do today. So I've come to Hu Hing to pick up all the bits and it'll be things like noodles, it'll be things like fish balls and like meat that will go in the hot pot which is super exciting. I literally love hot pot. I think it's such a good like get together thing to do. It's like an activity slasher meal in itself so it's quite nice and yeah so I'm going to take you guys along with me which I think will be really fun because whenever I come here it's always so nostalgic. There's always like the childhood sweets and snacks that we used to get so I'm going to bring you guys with me and we're going to see what we pick up for our lunch lunch today. I actually usually go to the one that's in Leighton in East London but that one has shut down now so I've come to this one here in Romford which is new to me. From what my mum tells me she's not been that impressed with the one in Romford so we'll see but you know Chinese mothers are really hard to impress so <laughs> I can imagine that this is actually a really good superstore but she's just not impressed with it because it doesn't have what she wants. So yeah you guys can come with me and we can see how we get on. So I've currently got the boring stuff. I've got Toy, Chinese leaf, and then these really yummy mushrooms for now. And, but we're actually at the fun part. This is where it used to be my favorite, is all these pandan cakes, which is super yummy. I actually can't have them nowadays because a lot of them has cream, but I can have the plainer ones, but my mum usually bakes them. So I feel a bit reluctant to pay for them, <laughs> which is so stingy of me. But I actually also really like these buns and stuff. So maybe I'll pick up a couple of these as desserts. Oh, and also mochi. Oh my god, I used to love these growing up. This one is white palai, and then there's mango one, lime one. Another one we used to drink a lot of was sugar cane, and also this tea as well. The old tea, oh my gosh, memories. Now this is what we're looking for for hot potting. We're gonna want a mixture of all of these meats. They're basically just wafer thin. So I'll get a couple of these. And get off that, I'm thinking. My mum used to wander through like these aisles and get all her stuff for the takeaway and I find it so like, it feels like home. It sounds so weird but it feels like home and it feels quite therapeutic to be walking down these aisles and seeing all these things that I guess I grew up looking at, like most weekends actually. So I feel like I've got most of the basics here. I've also picked up some paste so that I can have dinner later on this week, some snacks, some very old school typical Chinese snacks. 
some noodles, some vegetables, seaweed, a few big seafood balls, and some pork fat things. I think we're good to go. So that was quite a successful shop, I would say. It actually was quite disappointing, I've got to say. So maybe Mama was right. I mean, Mama is always right, but it was not that impressive. It was quite small as well, and they didn't have a lot of stuff I was looking for, so I've had to substitute. But I'm now on the way to go and pick up some other bits, and then we should be done for the day. We had to flip it over. Hey, Buffy, Is that a pretty dress? Did Joey buy the dress, Bella? Once that was done, we I love you. Put it in the water, Bella. One as well. That's so cute. She, she's bored of it already. Better. Hello, guys. So, <laughs> this has been the messiest vlog ever. A lot has happened in the last couple of weeks. I hope you guys can hear me fine as well because I'm in a different setup today. I just wanted to put my Christmas tree in the background. As you guys have seen that I have put it up now and she's fully decorated. So I just wanted to vlog from here, but I know that the sound is better. That's Bella by the way. The sound is better in my other room, but I just wanted to have this set up here for something different. Anyway, so I digress. A lot has happened in the last couple of weeks. So I shared with you guys that I br broke, I sprained my ankle. And then following that, I then had a tooth infection for my wisdom tooth. And then this weekend, after I showed you guys that I went to Hoo Hing and bought the stuff for Bella's birthday, I just became so unwell. <laughs> you guys might be able to hear it from my voice still. I have like just been sneezing loads. My nose won't stop running. My eyes won't stop watering. I just don't know what's happened. Like things have just gone downhill from there. So I've not actually been able to show you all the things that I promised to show you guys. So I thought I'd round off this vlog today and just wrap up and show you guys all the bits that Bella got for her birthday and also the bits that I picked up from Bista, which I didn't get to show you guys because if you do go to Bista this weekend or anything, then there are a couple of little things that you can get as stocking fillers. Unfortunately, whenever, oh, <laughs> whenever I sit on the floor, Bella does think I'm here to play. So you will hear her in the background. So let's quickly start with what Bella got for her birthday. So we had the most gorgeous hot pot spread. Again, I didn't vlog because I was with family and friends and I didn't want to whip out the camera and also like I said I just started to feel so unwell I just felt like I was starting to lose my voice progressively throughout the evening and yeah things are just not looking good so for Bella's birthday she actually got this car seat which she's actually looking at it right now she loves this car seat because my sister's dog Bailey has the same one and she just always gets in it whenever she gets in the car and then she also received a ton of other bits so we've got this little jar here for Bella's treats, which will all sit in here, which is so cute. It looks like a little like coffee and tea jar. I love this. And it suits the aesthetic of the kitchen as well. She also likes to drink a lot of water on her walks. So she's got a new water bottle. She thinks it's her birthday all over again. She was so excitable on her birthday. And she opened all the presents with my sisters and myself. She's got a new water bottle because she does drink a lot of water. So we have one already in the blue and it's like half the size of this bottle. So this will be super handy for our longer walks. She also received a towel that is personalized and it has Bella and two little paws, which is super, super cute. And it's actually really soft as well. Bella, as you guys will know from a previous vlog, loves her bath. So bath towels are always welcome. She also received a bath robe. Again, my sisters know her so well because she loves her bath. So this is a personalized bath robe, which is super, super cute. It's actually a bit snug on her because she's either put some weight on or she's got a ton of fur now, but it fits just about right. So I'm hoping that when she's wet, this will fit actually perfectly. <laughs> so yeah, this is super, super cute. She also received a ton of treats, which I'm not going to bring out now because she'll be super excited for it. But she did also receive some bandanas, which is so cute. We don't actually have any at the moment. So we have this watermelon one, this little apple one, and then also this oranges and lemon one, which is so cute. So we're going to wear these on the weekend because I think this will just be super cute for her walks. She did also receive two super cute dresses she wore this for her birthday this is so adorable and then she also has this little white dress which kind of reminds me of like a baby christening or maybe like a school uniform dress but yeah super super cute she was absolutely spoiled this year as she is every year so she did have a good birthday but of course like the hot pot side of things was mainly for us humans and i also just realized I can't show you guys what I bought from Vista because my sisters watch my channel. So I'm not going to be able to show you guys what I bought, but I would just say head into Ralph Lauren 
head into the cosmetics company store and also head into Elemis because they've got some big deals going on and you can get some inexpensive stocking fillers in there. So that's all I can say. But maybe I can show you guys after Christmas once they've like opened everything. And so yeah, that is gonna go ahead and end this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Again, I'm really sorry that it's very messy, but like I said, a lot has happened in the last couple of weeks and I feel like I'm slowly on the road to recovery having just been so ill this weekend as well. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.